In this video, we'll learn how to use freeform input and use the help system in Mathematica. Suppose we want to solve an equation, but we're not exactly sure how to use the solve syntax that Mathematica comes with. Well, a good way to use Mathematica to solve this kind of problem is to use what's called freeform linguistic input. On a new line, start by typing the equal sign. You'll notice a large orange equal sign will appear. That's your cue that you can start typing freeform like you would in a web search. So you can just type using natural language, solve x squared minus 1 equals 3x. And if you hit enter, Mathematica will interpret what we've typed, think for a moment, and then come up with a solution. So notice that two things have happened. One is that Mathematica has given us output that answers our question. But the other thing that has happened, if we look at this section, is that Mathematica has interpreted what we typed in and replaced it with Mathematica syntax. So a few things that we can see here. One is that Mathematica is using the reduce command with its typical capital letter and square brackets. Another thing we notice is that Mathematica uses the double equal sign, which indicates a Boolean equals. In other words, we're not trying to make something equal something else. We're trying to ask Mathematica to figure out when something equals something else. Something else that we can do is if we hover over this Mathematica input to the point where it turns orange, if we click on that, then Mathematica re will replace our freeform input with the official Mathematica syntax. We can do the same thing with finding plots. I could say plot the function y equals x squared. Again, Mathematica will think about that and give us a plot. And again, we're learning something about the plot command here. Again, we know that the command we want to use is called plot with a capital P. We type in the function that needs to be plotted. And then afterwards, we type in a range of x values in curly brackets. And we say x comma minus 1.2 comma 1.2. That says that x goes from minus 1.2 to 1.2. And if that's not exactly the picture that we want, we can change it. If we click on that to replace what we typed with the Mathematica input, if we decide that we want a graph that goes not from minus 1.2 to 1.2, it shouldn't take us too long to figure out that if we want a graph that goes from, say, minus 5 to positive 5, that we can make that change very easily. Another way to get help with Mathematica is to go to the website Wolfram Alpha. If we go to wolframalpha.com, we see the same kind of window that we would see at a typical web search. But if we type in the same kind of command that we were typing into Mathematica, for example, plot y equals x squared, and hit enter, again, we will see a few things happen. So we'll see Mathematica's interpretation of what we typed, and then we'll see the result. Something else that we can do here is if we hover over this result, if we go down here where you see the capital A, if you click on that A, what will pop up is Mathematica plain text input. So again, what we see here is the Mathematica command, which we can copy. And then if we go over into our Mathematica window and we say paste, then again, we can hit enter and get the result. So either by using freeform linguistic input or by using Wolfram Alpha, we can learn how to get results even if we don't know the exact syntax for a command. The third way to get help using Mathematica is with the built-in help system. So if we go to the help menu and go to the documentation center, which is the first option under the help menu, then we have a search bar here at the top. Now the thing to keep in mind is that Mathematica's built-in help system does not accept the kind of input that you would type into a web search. So what we don't want to type here is a phrase or a sentence. What we want to type is a keyword that we want to look up. So for example, if we want to look up the plot command, we just type the word plot. And when we hit enter, a lot of uh, options will pop up. We will get the help file for the plot command itself. There's also a link to a tutorial for basic plotting. So if we click on plot, what we'll see, I'll increase the zoom here so you can see it a little bit better. What we'll see is a lot of information about the plot command, but more importantly, we see examples. So for example, this example tells us how to plot the sine function from zero to six pi. And the nice thing about the Mathematica built-in help system is that these input lines are actually editable. So if you wanted to play around with this and say, oh, what would it look like if I went from zero to eight pi instead of six pi, you can actually type in the help window and hit enter just like you would in a regular Mathematica file. And it will update the help file to show you uh, what that modification would do. So that's a good way to look through the help files and find something that does something close to what you want. And then you can go and type in it and modify it to make it be exactly what you want. 
notice that you're not permanently changing the help files. If I go back and go into the plot help again, that first example is still from 0 to 6 pi. So you're not making any permanent changes to the help system. So I hope this gives you a good idea of how to get help and how to learn how to use new features of Mathematica that you haven't explored yet.